Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 35, and this is war number 5. Almost to the halfway point. And we're going up against an alliance called the Knights of the Night. I actually like that name. That's pretty cool. Alright, first let's see who they banned. Alright, Hercules, uh, Human Torch, and Quake. Okay. Can't blame them there. Let's uh, go ahead and spectate, see what we got going on. All right, so I don't have anyone on that first node. And I've got Warlock on this node. Generally speaking, um, this shouldn't be too difficult of a fight. Uh, for Claire, uh, probably could do that with another Warlock as well. Let's see, ionize armor, yeah. Well, below two and hurt type, yeah. That um, shouldn't be a problem for Claire or or Warlock for that matter. Uh, looks like Ghost Fade, who is usually the first one in, has already cleared the mini, whichever that is. All right, I've got the middle here. I usually do not touch the middle unless I'm asked. We got Professor X here. Now, if I bring Nick Fury, I could possibly do that uh, fight there. Uh, they also didn't ban Spider-Man 2099, so I could possibly bring him and do that fight pretty well. But Nick, Nick can handle that fight fairly uh, easily, even if I mess up and get uh, the shocks on me from EMP modification. Uh, I have another life, so that should be doable if I need to uh, do that. Ooh, and then we've got our old favorite, Colossus. Claire's going to tear him up. And, oh, we got Immortal, uh, I mean, Iron Man Infinity War here. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Well, Claire can do it. She can handle explosive personality um, pretty well. So, yeah, I'd probably just use Claire on that one. And, oh my, what do we have here? A mojo. Ooh, well. I mean, Warlock could do that, but the problem with fighting mojo, when you have someone that does buffs, uh, he can degen me. Degen me to death. Um... If I brought Spider-Man 2099, he'd eat Mojo for lunch. However, let's see here. Yep, the buffet, it wouldn't uh, trigger with Spider-Man 2099. Chitinous Thorns, however, um, that could be a problem. Let's see, for each armor up. I don't think he gets armor ups, though, Mojo. I don't remember so yeah um spider-man 2099 might be the best uh option right there hmm hmm that's a that's a tough one you know i think i'm going to bring in spider-man 2099 claire and Nick Fury. I'm going to leave out Warlock because I usually take this fight here with uh, Warlock. But if I bring in Spider-Man 29 for that, then we're straight. And hey, if need be, could help with the uh, Sasquatch boss. Um... But we have our boss killers, and I believe they also have Spider-Man 2099, so um, that shouldn't be uh, too much of a problem there. And uh, we already have uh, a mini-boss island squad, so I don't really have to worry about that anymore. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Spider-Man 2099, uh, Nick Fury, in case I need to take that mini right there. Uh, Professor X and Claire 
can handle the uh, rest of the fights. All right. Plan made. Let's get on with the fighting. All right. We are back. We're going in with Nick Fury. We got Spider-Man 2099. You're not going to see a boss fight this time. And we've got Black Widow Clairvoyant. All right. You're going to see Spider-Man 2099 is good for more than just the boss fight. All right. So uh, let's get in here. See what we got. All right. Um, I forgot the first fight. What's the first fight here? Yep. No, no one on that first node. Um, but we got Warlock as the first uh, fight on my path. And if you notice, the um, mini is already taken. This is a pretty straightforward fight. Uh, Claire does very well on this one. The uh, armor, she strips it away. So we don't have to worry about the armor. And uh, you know, I just pop in a, uh, a boost here. I have so many of them, as you saw. And I haven't even been doing a lot of the solo uh, objective um, events because I had so many and I was having to sell a bunch of them. And I got tired of doing that. All right, so here we go. Doesn't really bother me. I still haven't practiced enough on his special one to evade the special one. His special two is easy to evade. But the special one... Okay, so somebody told me that um, you had to make contact to get the uh, armor break with um, Warlock. But as I saw there, there was a... Look at that. I'm getting armor broken, and he's not touching me. So I don't believe that that is true unless there's something else I'm missing here. Um, there's currently an EOP going on, but... Ghost is not going to work for it for a variety of reasons. But we got Warlock down, no problem. Uh, I could have also brought in Warlock himself. He's good at fighting Warlock. Uh, we are not touching that Kingpin. Uh, I really don't like those nodes in the middle. I've done them before, but I'd rather let folks that are better. And I'm looking at this and I'm like, what just happened? Uh, I believe I know what happened. <clears throat> we weren't told. Um, but someone went in and pretty much rage died, used up all of the, um, attack bonus, just going in again and again. And, uh, well, they got kicked. Um, I was sorry to see it, but it is what it is. When, when they got kicked, I was like, what happened? What happened? What's going on? That, that's what happened. All right, so we have um, a new crew coming in. And um, so far, after this war, you'll see um, a, a change. Uh, I know we communicate a lot more on the left side uh, than we had been because we pretty much did not talk. We just went in uh, when I planned. I didn't plan for one mini. I plan. I tried to plan for all of them, just in case I was needed, and that's not the most efficient. Uh, uh, you saw Colossus. It is, it's Colossus. Claire on that node. Claire always takes him out, and it's not that he's a bad placement. I just have the great counter for him. Now this fight, I haven't lost to an Iron Man Infinity War in a long time. When he first came out, I was using um, Hyperion. And I first learned how to counter his heavy with a heavy. And I remember I, I put out, this is at a time where we were using five stars already. I put out my four star maxed out Iron Man Infinity War and he got 31 kills on a power gain node. They just didn't know how to fight him or deal with him. They put him there. He was a very popular one to go there. I never lost. Even the first time I fought him, I had Hyperion. I countered, had all of the Furies building up. When he got down low, fired my special three, which I held for just that purpose. Took him out all the time. 
Um, later, I got a Corvus. And of course, Corvus ripped him apart. So I know how to fight him and I've learned how to fight him with different people. As you see there, you notice I'm countering his heavy with a heavy. I'm reparrying him. That's pretty much what you do. Boom. So uh, I'm pretty decent at fighting him with uh, most champions. Some are better than others, of course. All right, now this next fight this is the mini that i brought spider-man 2099 for you can see um if i was needed which i was not for that sasquatch i'd have been ready for it but we've got a mojo spider-man 2099 is beautiful to fight mojo now on this node you see what i'm dealing with you've got buffet well guess what Spider-Man 2099 doesn't gain buffs, so Buffet is useless against him. Um, to get the, all those degens and everything on you, um, Mojo really needs, um, well, he doesn't need it, not like um, Ebony Maw, but if you're not um, generating buffs, he is really just, it's just a regular fight. So he's not going to heal up. Just look at this. Look at this. Just going in. Chewing him down. Doesn't matter. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Got to a special two. Woo! Look at that damage. He tried to catch me there. He was pretty quick. But look at this. Look at this. Just done. Didn't have to worry about the buffet, which made things much easier. Don't have to worry about buffs expiring and none of that stuff. So Mojo turned out to be a much easier fight. All right. We're going to um, take a brief intermission and we'll be back and you'll find out how this war ended. And we're back. And as you can see, we won this war. Uh, shout out to the Knights of the Night. Uh, you guys fought well. And uh, shout out to my alliance. We also fought really well. Uh, thank you all for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed this war video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video, about the war, all of that good stuff. Take care, and you all have a blessed day.